51. Time for your morning news now. The U.S. is ready to defend its assets if Iran attacks them. That is the latest message out of Washington. Since U.S. officials announced such a strike could very well be in the works. U.S. officials predict a significant Iranian attack on American or Israeli assets in the Middle East as soon as this week. That potential danger comes after an Israeli strike on an Iranian consulate in Syria last week. Now the Israel Defense Forces say they're preparing to deal with Iran, quote, offensively and defensively. The Biden administration says if Iran attacks Israel directly, it almost guarantees a regional conflict. Congressman Derek Van Orden's staff just hosted an event that could shape your kids' futures in a big way. It's called Service Academy Day, and it's all about giving you the inside scoop on the nation's military service academies. According to a member of Van Orden's team, it's never too early for high school students to start exploring their options and getting informed about the opportunities that await them in the armed forces. I would say that this is an opportunity for these kids to really come out and speak with people that have gone through the process themselves, understand what uh, the process is as far as getting a letter, things of that nature. Van Orden offered big applause for every high school student who attended and says these will be the future leaders of our military. Winona State University celebrating the five-year anniversary of its innovative education village with an open house this weekend. It invited the community and alumni to explore the education village and learn about its plans for the future. Attendees toured the facilities and heard from professors about the success of the village over the past five years in enhancing teacher preparation at WSU. I think we're just wanting everybody to know that we're here and we're um, thrilled to have these beautiful buildings. It's, you know, really great to have everybody here and um, having fun and just enjoying learning and education. The open house featured guided tours, food trucks, inflatable obstacle courses, and more. The Education Village is also home to different resource centers, the Campus Rock Climbing Center, and a study lounge. And the UW Lacrosse Music Department pulling out all the stops this weekend for its annual honors recital, a showcase of the university's most talented student musicians. Each year, students are nominated to audition for the recital. If they're selected, not only do they get to perform, they also get a $1,500 scholarship. Students chose a diverse array of pieces to play, ranging from classical compositions to contemporary works. The selections highlighted the impressive depth and range of musical abilities within the department. How it matches a lot of their character um, in terms of what they're passionate about, this is their opportunity to kind of have that happen. There were seven people who performed and more than 60 people in the audience. The UWL Department of Theater and Dance proudly presented James and the Giant Peach this weekend. That show is about James and his journey through his young life while seeking to find a real family. When it was all said and done, it took the department about three months to prepare for the show, which includes casting, set design and more. One member says he's most excited to see the turnout in the crowd. There's a big crowd today, bigger than we've had yet. Um, it's a great show, and I'm excited that more people are just coming to see it. More people are wanting to see it. The production team consisted of 10 to 15 people. In total, roughly between 50 and 60 people were involved. Around the country, people are getting ready to look to the skies today for the eclipse. Ahead of that, University of Minnesota Duluth hosted Astronomy Day this weekend at the university's planetarium. The director says an event like this helps teach people the history and importance of astronomy. And a lot of the modern day technology is because astronomers and their working efforts to solve problems. Astronomy, is the oldest science. We have been doing it since there have been people on Earth, using the stars as calendars to help tell time, and also using it in more of the arts to share stories and mythologies. At the event, people could learn more about the solar system and the upcoming solar eclipse, and special glasses were handed out so people could look safely at the eclipse. The planetarium set to host a viewing party today at 12.30. And thank you so much for starting your morning with us on News 8 Now this morning. We will see you back here at noon. Enjoy the rest of your morning.